Cisco's application-centric infrastructure. So there are industry shifts that are re redefining IT at all levels. We've got uh, on-premise IT consumption models that are shifting to cloud-based services. We've heard of uh, IT as a service. We've heard application as a service. We've got separate development and operations that are moving toward integrated development and operations. We've got uh, box-centric management models that are migrating to application-centric models. So these traditional approaches essentially take a siloed operational view without looking at the common operational model between the application, the network, the security, and the cloud teams. A common operational model will deliver application agility, simplified operations, assured performance, and also be able to scale. So Cisco has come up with an application-centric approach to managing your infrastructure devices. Things that might include centralized automation, policy-driven application profiles. Essentially what ACI does is it delivers software flexibility with the scalability of hardware performance. So some of the things that make up Cisco's ACI are the new Cisco Nexus 9000 series switches, you have the ability for centralized policy management and the Cisco application policy infrastructure controller or what they call APIC EM, which we'll talk about uh, in part two. You've got a Cisco application virtual switch for the virtual network edge. You've got an integrated physical and virtual infrastructure, which provides for an open ecosystem of both network, storage, management, and orchestration vendors, for example. So some of the characteristics of ACI include simplified automation by an application-driven policy model, centralized visibility with real-time application health monitoring, open software flexibility for DevOps teams. You've got scalable performance for multi-tenancy and hardware. And we've talked about how the future of networking with ACI, for example, is about providing a network that you can deploy, monitor, and manage in a way that supports DevOps and rapidly, rapidly changing applications. So the way that ACI does that is through the reduction of some of our common tasks, and it creates a common policy framework that can automate things like provisioning and managing of resources.